Hi, my name is Brenda Jacobson, and I'm so glad that you're considering joining us for some UEQ gameplay on the Speak, Feed, Lead Summit. UEQ has a series of card games that help people from all ages develop social emotional intelligence. We have a lot of fun doing it, and there's a lot of science behind this. Today we're focused on creating happy kids. And I'm just going to share a quick video clip from the creator of this game platform um, talking about how, how we go about doing that. Check this out. Do you want your children to be happy? I hope you do. I think all parents should want their children to be happy. But how do you teach your kids the skills on how to be happy? To teach your children the skills on how to be happy, you have to teach them how to be unhappy first. Now that may seem counterintuitive because if we want to teach happiness, what are we doing teaching unhappiness? Well, there's a perfectly good reason for that is because children have to learn as they're growing and we have to learn as adults as well, how to regulate the emotions that make us unhappy. And so what you want to do as a parent is normalize unhappiness for that emotional regulation. Because if emotions are not normalized, children won't know how to respond or what to do when they're experiencing that unhappiness. Especially since unhappiness is a pretty broad term. There are many more complex emotions that go into contributing to unhappiness. All emotions are fair game. I tell my kids, all emotions are appropriate but how you respond to them may not always be appropriate. It's normal to feel angry when something happens. It's normal to feel sad when you lose something. It's normal to feel hopeless when you've tried everything. It's normal to feel shame when you think you've done something bad and you wanna go, hi, I say, that's okay, that's normal, but how you respond, this is what I'm teaching you. And so how can you respond is the next question. But let me show you uh, what our games look like here. And this is something that we could take through. We just hold up the card and we ask, what do you see and what do you think? And it's just a safe way to have the conversation. And if they're young, this is at three years old, we say, what color do you see? We teach them the color black. And then we teach them to say, I feel upset. And that's just normalizing the emotions. It's okay to say, I feel upset. And then we give them a hug. Now, as we advance in the levels, we get into more complex images and then we have them say more complex emotional vocabulary such as I feel embarrassed. And then we ask them, when do you feel this? See, the when question comes and we're building those neural pathways for them to regulate the emotions by accessing these conversations. Here's the next one. What do you see? What do you think? And what do you wonder about this? And we ask more questions. So now we're at EQ IQ level four and whining and we teach them. I know I'm whining if I complain too much. This is a social skill and we ask, what do you think about this? Then here's some other fun ones. We say, you know, what do you see? Okay, and we ask them to create a story about it and we get into the what do you wonder and we get into the imagination and then we teach the vocabulary grouchy, you feel irritable, grumpy and want to complain and then we have them share, I get grouchy when and then let them put the sentences together. And again, this is as young children learning to normalize this type of language creates the emotional intelligence and the social emotional learning environment for them to accelerate that cognitive development and their maturity. That gives you a sneak preview into the games. We have seven different levels. We could be playing any or all of them during this session. I really encourage you to join us these games are a lot of fun and powerfully transformative. See you there.